So I'm gonna go ahead and start this video off by fixing this because it is driving me insane. I, you know what I think it's from though? Like seriously, I think it's crooked like so much. There's doors right here? Maybe? Don't really know. But I'll lay, look, look, we got the, we got this set up. It's, uh, we're live. We're actually getting it somewhat good. This is one of the games I'm gonna be playing. This is uh, Fishing Planet. I haven't really got straight into it yet. Oh, um. I'm actually recording right now doing some tests, and this is that mic that was sent to us a while back. Thank you so much. I'm going to give it a, a test. It sounds amazing, but I did learn something. If I have this connected on this table, the noise comes through. So guess what we got to pick up today? I got to get this off, and I got to get it above me. But we're good. If you guys want to add me on here. Yep, that's me. This is really awkward because it's like coming through my mic right now. Like, just one sec. It's like, I, listen. We're actually live right now testing it out and it sounds really weird. What are you doing? You need to go to the bathroom? We gotta still put this on him because he can't run around with his leg. Dog goes crazy when he goes outside. Hello, Mo. Hello. I right, need to go to the bathroom. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me take this off, let me take it off, let me take it off, let me take it off. Got this thing going right now. That thing is going, it's cooking, it's downloading a new game for you guys. It's, it's gonna happen. This whole live streaming thing is going to happen. I've got everything set up except for one thing, the most important thing out of, out of it all. That is the audio coming from the game and going through OBS to Twitch. Yeah, there's something that I'm, I'm not really getting there. Text, don't pee, poop, or do any of that kind of stuff. I'll be back, buddy. And then you gotta go hang out. But for right now, just go do dog things in the house somewhere else. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and be safe. Yeah, that is a tank round that holds my door. Just gonna go ahead and shut that. You'll be okay. I'll be back. You good? You ready? This is always the in interesting part. These dogs could drag her to the end of the world if they wanted to. Mainly just the big one. All right, I'll see you when you get back then. Bye. She's taking the dogs clearly because we're about to leave here in a little bit, but we got the bag, the good old ATP bag. We got the Lunkers TV travel rods. I'll see you in a little bit. I was originally gonna take the dogs, but she texted me and said that she's on her way home, so I'm gonna get the fishing stuff prepped. I know in Georgia, there's some ponds. I can barely find my words. There's some ponds I know of around Fort Stewart. That's where I'm gonna be going, guys. If you guys are in Fort Stewart area or Savannah, I think I might possibly do some sort of a meetup since I don't really come into Savannah that often. If you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and leave it up to y'all. Say yes, no, baby, so. Maybe we can go fishing together when I'm down there. On, uh, on one of the ponds. Had to get the stuff prepped. All I'm gonna have to do is pick up some worm hooks and that's pretty much it. Everything else is already in there. I think, I mean, come on now. It's, it's gonna be gorgeous. They're gonna eat some sort of like, mm, I'm gonna be able to get away with a swim bait, wacky worm, frog. I brought a spinning setup for Sarah. I did pick this up though, guys, this morning. You guys gave me some crap because I bought that monitor right there, the Omen. I don't know anything about it, but you guys said it wasn't that great. So I had to get a second one, so I got an Asus. I know it sounds crazy, but I had to get a second one because I realized when I was going through OBS, you can't, you, like you're looking at one screen, but you have to be able to see the Twitch chat and everything else on either side. Pretty much why we got the second screen. I, I, I'm pretty stoked to get to get streaming with you guys and doing on a, I, I'm hoping a nightly basis or every other night thing. I just downloaded PUBG because I know a lot of you guys asked for PUBG and I've got that fishing game of course. I'm going to start off with a fishing game start moving it into like Arma and like there's fun shooting games because a lot of a lot of the people that watch this channel clearly shoot and uh, YouTube doesn't like it so I do not even want to. Any If I can get away from doing as much as I can on YouTube that's, that's, that's the main goal because like I said they're trying to smother it. Don't like to be smothered. I'm not a smothering type. I'm walking around my house aimlessly. I've got to sharpen this, this good old knife before we go and I gotta figure out how to use this thing correctly. Every video. What, this is literally me and Avery hanging out. I, uh, what? No cursing, just me and Avery? Every single video has to be reviewed. I'm telling you guys, this is getting absolutely ridiculous when every single one I got, I, <laughs> I really don't know what to say. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Sarah, give us your thoughts on why those videos keep getting demonetized. Why? I think it's because of Avery's jibber jabber. Really? I think some of it is. You don't think it has to do with guns? Well, yeah, I'm sure it does. But I Actually, you know what? Let's redo that. that. Let's redo that. Do you think it has anything to do with the things that we starts with a G and ends with an S that we're going to call toys from now on? Do you think it's because of that? Do you know what this is right here, though? This is a mic. Oh, um, yeah, sure, yeah. What do you think we should do about it? Nothing? 
There's nothing we can do, right? Not unless you want to start your own, uh, create your own website. No, Again. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover you up for that one. All right, our Uber is gonna be here in, I would say probably three to five solid minutes and another day of traveling starts. It's gonna, it's gonna be a really a family friendly content. I wonder how many times we gotta say family friendly to get this thing to keep, keep, keep it going, keep it going. But you know what you guys need to do, seriously? If you guys, ah, if you guys like watching Twitch stuff, I'm gonna link it at the very top. Very top, go and follow. Let's see how many followers we can get on that Twitch channel before I even go live. So you guys can know when I go live, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Sunday, you think I should go live on Sunday for the first time? We get back Saturday night. So you think I can go live on Sunday night for the first time? I think it's Sunday night, it's gonna be the first time that we're gonna go stream. It's either gonna be, you guys can let me know which, which games. I've got PUBG so far. In the fishing one. The fishing one's fun. And now it sounds weird fishing on a computer, but it I mean when it gets cold outside, what do you got what else you guys got to do? Except for watch bad fishing videos. I don't know if it's just me, but if I find like I don't know if you guys can see like back over there there's like two people just, just making out, just getting it. And I always find that like for some reason I find that so awkward. Do you find that awkward or not? Is it it's more awkward than me carrying this camera to the airport talking to it, correct? Yeah. This is, I mean, this is pretty awkward because everybody looks at you when you're talking to a camera, but I think that's gotta be way more, you gotta have more kahunas to do that than I think than to, to carry this. In the airport? Do you think this is the right place to be studying? You want some coffee? This is awkward because everybody's probably looking at me holding the camera at you. Is it pretty awkward? <laughs> You think I should put the camera away? Is it real awkward? Hey guys, what language is this? Nothing like says welcome to Georgia other than getting him slapped in the face with a 1000% humidity at 1149 at night. What is up Savannah? Sarah and I are here. She's super stoked to be back here. I'll tell you what, I, it's really humid here. We had to walk all the way down here because I think the Ubers have weird laws. But sometimes they make you like park like or walk really far away just to meet them up. I want to tell you guys something. I made pretty much one of the dumbest mistakes you can make as a fisherman. I brought three row, no, I brought four rods. Brought four rods and no reels. In the morning, Sarah and I will be making a trip over to the uh, shop that they call Pro and uh, probably have to pick up. We're just going to pick up one of each because I need to take her fishing while I'm here and I can't believe I made the biggest mistake. But you know what? That's fine because that means I get to buy, well, unfortunately, I have to buy one other kind of branded reel so we can start testing even more of these out. Oh, the car, yeah. Oh, this might be her. Hold on. Is this my lady? No, that's actually, that is, that's a dude. That's a dude. Is this a lady? Yep, this could be her. Nope, that is a dude as well. Okay, let me check my phone. I'm not really hitting this one on the head. Is this her? C, Uber driver? Yes, ma'am. You want me to go this way? Okay, I'll meet you over here. I don't know why I just walked in front of you. All right, she's here. I am profusely sweating right now and it's 12 o'clock at night. Oh my gosh, this kind of sucks. Mmm. You hungry? I think the vending machine might have some good food. So there's really nothing open and there's nothing around this hotel right now. Ha! Huh? We use DoorDash every once in a while. Actually, we only use DoorDash once. And it's not really available here, so we tried Garbhub. Grubhub. Grubhub. We tried Grubhub. 60 to 70 minutes to get a sandwich. So I think I'm gonna walk down the hall and grab me something out of that sweet old succulent vending machine. What do you think about that, sir? Oh, nothing like eating some, some good old fashioned food for dinner right there. I don't know what's going on. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, this is how we start our mornings off. Oh, never mind. Changes, I originally said I was gonna go to Bass Pro Shops, but they just opened one of those. Those things right there, here in Old Pooler, Georgia, and it is a lot closer. I'm talking like 20, 30 minutes closer to where we actually need to go. Oh God, I got ants all over my foot. God. So if we're gonna do a meetup, it's actually probably gonna be here in Pooler at uh, probably the same time around two, since it's on the way to the airport anyway. Well, we picked up a couple of these. So I told you guys I was gonna be testing some stuff out. Yeah, I just grabbed one of these kind of reels. Don't know anything about it. It was only, I think, 30 bucks or 40 bucks, somewhere around there. Come on, car, turn on. There we go. But the big thing, big kicker was I got Sarah, oh gosh, oh gosh. I just got her one of these as well. It's uh, not super expensive, of course. It's probably about 20, 30 bucks. Cause I have, I, I feel bad cause I have so much of this as a house and I, and I had to buy more. God, that sucks. But the big kicker here, ladies and gentlemen, is this stuff. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. Oh, I see who it's made by now. Okay, well, I've never used it before. So I'm gonna, whoa, whoa. 
I'm gonna give this stuff a shot and see if it's actually decent or not because it was very very reasonably priced It was like 15 bucks. Usually this stuff is like 40 bucks Not not this stuff in general, but braid, you know, what I mean like 50 pound braids. So. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting that in your lap Here we go. Uh, I'll put everything in your lap. What do you want for breakfast? What are we thinking? What do you chick-fil-a? Oh chick-fil-a Oh, no, is there not one around here? Time crunch ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go. Chick-fil-a breakfast is about to close. It's changed a little bit. This right here is actually Sarah and I's first house we ever purchased. And we still own, we bought it when we were, how old were we were, 19 or 20? 19, 20? I think we were 20. But in the army it's really easy to buy houses because they, they're gonna force you to pay your bills no matter what. But holy crap, this is it. We've got some work to do. Oh yeah, that's my welcome sign, no big deal. This is my very first one I ever put up. Still, still cooking with gas. Oh wow, that's really dark, sorry. Yeah, this is my very first welcome sign. Oh yeah, I put that up. I don't know. Oh, you know what probably happened here? It looked like... A rock was found in it? No, that's not a rock. You know what's happened is the previous tenants, there's a wasp nest in there. Guess what they did? Instead of spraying it, they smashed our... our light. Why would you do that? That's, that's what it's supposed to look like. Why would you smash the... I mean, there's clearly a wasp nest in there. Well, on a good note, Sarah did point out that, uh... The swing is also still there that I put out. Tell you guys right now, I, I rented this house out twice to two different military guys, and then I rented it out to, I think, one other person that wasn't, I didn't know. And it's been such a pain. We've done nothing but just, I, I should have heeded the warning from my mother-in-law when she told me when I was younger, don't buy the house, you guys can just rent. Oh, I didn't listen to her. I should have. Were they even supposed to have dogs? Oh, this is the army friend that did this. No, he wasn't supposed to have dogs. Oh, my gosh. Look at the door on this thing. Yeah, Sarah did just point out, I mean, this door's messed up. We're going to fix all this. But on a good note, brand new roof. I would say right now this is probably our worst life decision we've ever had. What do you think? Up there on the top? Probably one of the I think it was our worst life decision that we didn't sell it uh, three years ago when we had it and somebody offered to buy it three years ago when I worked at American Heart Association. I don't remember that. <laughs> and he said, no. Don't know why they would even leave that like that. Sarah's going to make a list of what we need. This is our realtor, by the way. Hey. Oh, here's the inside portion of that door. Look at this. Oh. I mean, every bit of floor is getting ripped up in this house. This, I always thought when we bought this house, this was like the coolest part of the entire house with the bathroom. Look at this. It's got one of the, ooh, it's not focusing. Got one of these kind of showers in there. Thank God that didn't get tore up, but I mean, the rest of the house is pretty much just completely just, seems like it's destroyed. We're gonna have to stick a ton of money just pull, uh, just to get just to be able to get this thing sold, which absolutely sucks. Pull some money out of savings, get it, get it fixed, get it ready, prepped. I mean, even this door is messed up, like everything. But we're gonna, we'll get it done. We're gonna get it painted today. The entire house, Sarah and I, hopefully can get painted. Sarah, are we gonna be able to paint this thing ourselves? Oh, and this is where it begins, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it begins. Oh, this time it's not Home Depot, it's actually Lowe's. And Sarah's actually got a problem with a person named Cedric in here. He hasn't been very nice to her. Oh, he's nice. Oh, hey, he's really nice. Oh, I like your shirt, that's pretty cool. Where'd you get that? We got hooked up by uh, Plank and Tile, one of the, he's actually a viewer, which is awesome. Thank you, Christian, for hooking us up. He helped us out with uh, a lot of the pricing, so we were actually saving a ton of money on just about everything, except for the walls. I got to, uh, me and Sarah and our realtor are going to be knocking out the walls, hopefully, today. You guys want to hit up Jordan? Uh, let's, let's do something real. Just, just for you, Jordan, how about this? See this number right there? If you guys want the original Lunker's house, you guys can have it, because here's Jordan's number. But wait till we're finished fixing everything first. Because right now it doesn't look that good. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. Ain't that right, Sarah? Yeah, hit him with a squat. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, that's not, that's not low. You got to do low. You got to go deep. Deep V squat. Just deep. That's not deep. Nope. There you go. Now you got it. We got to get the sand in this. I, how did this even happen? Like, what happened here? Did somebody get pissed and just kick a hole in the wall? Ah, about to make that magic happen on the inside. Oh, well, you guys are getting a little bit of action there. That is what I like to see. I just dropped my freaking camera in the paint. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and clean this stuff off. Oh, good. I'm glad I was able to actually fix my freaking camera. 
I mean, who, who wants to put a little bit? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of paint on there. So do I look good? Oh, of course I look good. Why wouldn't I look good? But anyway, I was gonna tell you guys right here was actually so we found out that I was going to Afghanistan, and then I was actually supposed to be getting out of the army like I think two months before, and I actually re-upped to go with my dudes. I don't even know if I told you guys that, but this was actually this right here, this spot. Spot. I pulled out all my stuff and I just sat here and stared at it. And I was like, ah, we're, gonna, we're about to go have some fun. That's literally, this is like an iconic spot to me right here. But I actually think we're gonna get a lot more done tonight because we just, just got another guy in. So if you guys don't know the guy that the realtor that I showed you guys, or told you guys to give a call, he actually was a Marine and the guy that he brought over is also a Marine. And of course I was in the army. So the army, <laughs> way much better. Right? Yeah, we've been having no argument, but the, uh, I, think, I think we actually might be able to get this done because we got a bunch of us working and these dudes like to grind we're sitting here grinding we got the living room done we got sarah and him working on the kitchen and then we got i think sarah sarah do we have our bedroom done is our bedroom good bedroom's good and then we just got kind of two more so i think we might be able to actually get it done it's good to have good to have help you need the help at times so this has been my my life for the last couple hours probably about six hours and uh we're just that, that's that's the color we're going with you know it goes from the, the white to the to the brown and the real question is, why do painters, real question, I'm, I'm trying to ask, figure it out. Why do painters wear white clothes? Uh, first thing, when it comes to painting a wall, you gotta, you gotta stretch out. You gotta, uh, grab that paintbrush. You know, just do this and just, ooh, oh, that's some fluid motion. Kind of sideways. More up and down. There you go. See the squatting? Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Uh, what are you doing? You got a mind of your own. It's not on. You're good. Look at that gold frame. Don't you think it's so crispy looking? Oh! So, sir and I are actually. I wonder how loud that is in video. I'm not carrying 50 pounds. I'll see you guys up in the room. That's probably pretty loud. Listen to it. Hey, do you know what this button does? What are you guys getting out of the elevator? You gotta wait through the press. You just punched me in the boot. Oh, sorry. That 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 signals the boxy matches starting. <laughs> We made it back to the hotel. Of, actually, no, we just made it actually to the hotel room. We never made it back because I've never talked to you guys while I've been inside this sucker. It is, what is today? Today is Thursday. You guys are seeing this on Friday night or possibly Saturday morning, I don't really know. But Saturday, this coming Saturday, hold on, I gotta actually figure out the date so I don't mess this up. This Saturday, September 30th, I'll be down in Pooler, Georgia. That is right, Pooler, Georgia at the Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't know if we're gonna be inside or outside. If, if you guys don't see a couple people standing outside, then we're not outside, we'll be inside. I don't exactly know. Uh, favorites, actually, I just told them that we're going there. They're gonna hit them up and see if we're gonna be inside or outside. I have to make sure, because I don't wanna get in trouble, because you guys know, you you guys know I've been kicked out of places before not just me not just me but John and all of us we've been kicked out of Cabela's and Bass Pro they're like ah you guys don't need to be here so we want to make sure with dicks we want to make sure with dicks if we're actually okay to go inside if we're not okay either way I'll be there if they're not gonna allow me inside to hang out with you guys we'll be in the parking lot it'll be me and Sarah who is who is behind this this lovely door right there we don't want to open that thing up right now but that that's it we'll be there 2 p.m. this Saturday September 30th for all you people in Georgia, we'll be down there in Pooler. Go check it out at the Dick Sporting Goods. But tomorrow, tomorrow's goal is to wake up, go there, knock out the rest of the house, get it knocked out, get the floors pulled up, and then go fishing. Sarah, you want to go fishing? I heard you open up that door. You got excited when I say fishing, didn't you? We're going fishing. We're going fishing. We're going. That's the goal. We're going to take her down to Fort Stewart and hit up some of those local bonds. Unless you guys have some better places, leave a comment down below. Click that video right there if you've not seen that one, and then go ahead and click that one if you've not seen that one. And you guys, you know what? You know what? Subscribe down below. Other than that, I love every single one. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'm about to disappear. Right